fucking tell me about fucking I can't see my fucking girlfriend you want to back up oh shit it's such <laughs> bullshit though you can't you can't fucking forbid me from seeing my GF yeah that shouldn't be a thing just cause mom doesn't want to see you asshole god I wish I still had that oh I do have one I do have one Good hey there, Jay. It's Real Bomb Jerry. It's here. You guys are fucking bored, man. I don't have my fucking PlayStation. I don't have any fucking good ass consoles anymore. Oh. <laughs> I just figured I'd go back to practicing my sword. I'm just pissed off. Do for some left handed shit. Yeah, nothing else you can do? I could touch my wiener, but. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. What are you talking about then? I mean, you did say you were going to move out in like a week. Yeah, I want to go on paycheck. What's it to you? <laughs> I'm just saying, you should probably know where you're going to move out to. Oh. You know, go apartment hunting. Start, yeah. Yeah, start that whole well, process. Well, I looked at it a little bit online, but you know what I did? I texted Mark and I was like, yo, dude, I forget everything you told me a few months ago about apartments. <laughs> and he was like, dude, you should come by. Uh, we actually have some vacant apartments in the complex. Oh. Drops. Drops. The mic. Fuck yeah, dude. So hey, I mean, um, I know it's a little uh, out of the way, but like, like I wanted to be in Philly, and it's kind of like 40 minutes the other direction. But you know what? That's totally fine. Cause it's still 40 minutes away from this fucking household. So yeah, we go there tomorrow. I don't know how that shit works. Whether I sign a little document and I'm like, bam, I'll move in in a few days. I don't know they do like a background check. I don't know what they find on me. I really, really don't know. I'm gonna store this. Take after my dad. You store your weapons in a safe place so nobody can find. Well, you know where this is. Hopefully, there's a poke me in the middle of the night. What do I want to do today, though? There's nothing to fucking do. I want to find the PlayStation. I mean, how many? I know a lot of his hidey holes. I knew where the flag was. You just check some of the main ones. Yeah, it's not gonna fucking like throw in a safe or anything. Yeah, I'm trying to find a PlayStation. I need to play something. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's right up here, guaranteed. Oh, you growing up? This was the go-to spot. I'd be a bad boy. I wouldn't get smacked. I get the console, all Nintendo Game Boys, and Nexus Force. Throw that shit up there. I learned. I learned eventually, but it didn't matter because I was. He knew I was afraid of it. I would, you know, I. I was afraid of my room at night. I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid I couldn't be in the basement at all, any hour, even at night. Really, at night, I'd run out the stairs. I. I wouldn't even go outside at night. I wouldn't even go outside at all. Uh, Did you laugh? Just, you laughed at that I'm shit? I'm curious how long that lasted. How long for? it lasted? Fuck you, dude! You you tried to tell me you've never been afraid of the dark. So never. I'm just wondering until what age you were. You never had that feeling that there's a monster under your bed or there's a monster lurking in the darkness. You are such a. You're just showing the fuck off, dude. You know what? It's well. I'll tell you, it's not a thing now. Okay, that's good. You coming up? Yeah. You need me to come up? Yeah. Here, you know what? <laughs> Too scared to do it. Here, give me this. I can get a better angle. Fuck you, dude. I hold myself. Slingshot. Usually it's right here. Holy shit! It's like a painting of a mountain. <laughs> what the fuck even is this? I don't know, dude. Swiss Alps. No, I, I wish I was there right now with my PlayStation 4. Glowworm. You have old toys. There's my dad's security shit. See, that just shows he's been up here. That's true. That's oh, shit, man. It's not a good sign. It's not up here. Because every time he put it, he put it right up here because he was lazy. Uh, well, why go deep in the attic? You just put it up there knowing Jesse ain't going to look there. Mm. But. Now I know better. Now I'll look. Fuck. Let me check around the corner. Make yeah. sure he's not. I don't know. I don't even know if he's here. I haven't heard him. I don't think he's in the 
living rooms. We'll check there next. I'm trying to think. All the hope chests. This is a good one. Dude, any family for generations. It's got to be in here. It's even got a keyhole, but instead of needing a key, you just push it. <laughs> so it's oh. a really bad lock. Oh, one. It smells like grandpa. Oh shit. Oh. But. It's this little me. You when you were afraid of the dark. Black box. Black box. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, I'm gonna lock you up in the attic, man. Fucking watch you fall through the attic. Fuck. Just that damn fucking Nintendo cartridge. And all the war books and shit. Star of Hollywood. I mean, why is this even in here? Yeah. Where? I'm in the living room. Are you trying Where? to get in that safe? No. What safe? The green safe. The old safe. There's hack marks on the hinges. Yeah. No. No. I. A couple months ago, I. I tried. I had a power saw, and I was trying to. There's nothing it. in there. Why the hell would you even try? I thought maybe I could find my. Money. You gotta be kidding me. Where's my PlayStation at? I took it yesterday. What the hell are you worried about already now? I need something to play, Dad. Why do you need something to play? Because I'm bored. I, I need something to do. And I love video you games and me and Corner hanging out. I don't want to go outside. We, we, what what on earth? What would we even do? We don't even have anything we could do. You can do anything out here. I, what I want to do is I want to play PlayStation. That, that's what we do. That's what me and Corner do. We want to play. Back when I was a kid, we didn't have that. We went out and that's, played baseball, well, yeah, basketball, you know, all that time. stuff. Football. That's great. It's very different now. And I need to play it's PlayStation. It I is. It is. Out there. Where is it? Just tell me where You're it is. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Go outside. Go outside and do something. Why do you have a Nintendo cartridge? Were you in the box? Why do you have it? Do you have my gun? I told you. I did not. I didn't, I didn't touch it. I, I looked. I had looked in there a couple months ago. It was right around the time of that safe, and I, I saw you had a gun. I didn't touch it. I don't have it. I swear to God, I do not have it. I just was kind of curious as to why you had that. You know, I used to play video games many years ago, and that was one of my favorite games. So what? What's the big deal? Why wouldn't I have it? I don't know. It's just something. I don't see that side of you ever. We used to play video games. What does that even mean, remember. though? What about what, what about when you were little? What did you do? Games weren't even like video I games. Know, were... That's what I was saying. I go. We went out and played baseball, basketball, football. Me and Uncle Chris did a lot of shit outside. That's all we had to do. At eight o'clock in the morning, our parents kicked us the hell out of the house. You weren't allowed in to eat and 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 to go to bed. That was it. My parents didn't want us in that house. So what you did for fun was you went and played baseball and shit? And yeah, like, we were all over the place. And then finally we got arcades. I guess we were probably about 16, 15 or 16. Well, that's games. And that was like yeah. Asteroids and Pac-Man, but that wasn't anything. You know, my dad didn't he didn't really approve of it or appreciate us doing that. They wanted us out doing stuff. They wanted us out either, you know, working or, you know, or cleaning the yard or at the garden. You had, to, you had all kind of crap you had to do. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't just go and play video games. But you're saying you did. Oh, I did. Yeah, you sneak, you sneak away every once in a while and play until you get caught and then you get your ass beat. You know, back in the day, if you did something wrong, you got your ass beat. Nowadays, if something happens like that, you know, you're, you're, you're a bad person. But back then, that, that was, you were fair game. But we used to play stuff. See, so your, your dad, just what? He didn't, he... he didn't want me to play games. He didn't want Uncle Chris would to he, play games. Would he destroy your shit? No, he would just put us out to work. There was no destruction. What's he going to do? Well, Pop my football? Put well, you out to work. What? When? When I started at 12 years old. 12? I worked at the mill, and then I did lawns, and then I worked at the farm. You always, say, hay, you straw, always, would, yeah, you always would say that, but I, it's, I know it's an exaggeration. It isn't an exaggeration. That's what, no, everybody says, like, oh, it's a 12-year-old for somebody young, but you can't work at 12. The hell I couldn't. Clean bathrooms at the mill. That's what we did. And then bag pile. I had to clean a bag pile all the time. 
three days a week. And then if that, in the, in the spring, summer, fall, I had nine lawns. Half the block I used to mow with a push mower. And between that, Pop Pop's garden. Had to, had to take care of that constantly. Weed it, rototill it, and all that. And then at night, we were out to the farm, baling hay. I get it. Straw, I sudex. Get it. I get it. You worked a lot. I worked a lot. There Trying was no there was no childhood. Oh, not that means I don't I don't get one. You had one. I don't know what you're talking about. You're 23 years old. Your but childhood's you, gone. No, it's not. I can keep it going. But you I, that doesn't make any sense. If if Pop Up didn't like you playing games so much, then then how is it that you taught me? Oh, you had God. to work, right? You had to get. Did you did you keep playing or did you get rid of it? No, I kept playing, but very rare because I had to work. You know, you, you can't just you can't just sit home and play games all stinking day when you got house payments, you got electric bills, you got gas bills, you got all this, you got kids to raise. But then, you know, when when you kids were born, yeah, we got you know we got a gaming set, and then I I did play with you guys. But then eventually you got to give that up, and that's what I had to do. Well, why did you stop? Why did you stop playing with us? There was uh, not complaints, but there was what? there was some things from my father that thought that I wasn't doing a good enough job with you guys because of the uh, having video games constantly playing video games with you guys. Like I wasn't a good enough parent because or a good enough father because I, I sat there and played games when I should be out working or doing that and he didn't think it was a good good idea for you guys to learn such a young age to be to be playing video games too. So then you just stopped. I just stopped. So then what why what is that game? Why do you have that game? What is that Nintendo game? Bases loaded two, second season. That was one of my favorite games. You guys played with me, but eventually I had I just gave it up. I, I, you know, go out and work, try to make a better life for everybody else in the house. You know, household. You know, when people start saying that you're not doing what a good father should, you sort of uh, take it to heart and stop. Always try to do my best, but well, why do you? Why do you? Why take it away from me, though? Because you gotta learn. You gotta learn. There's more out there. Life will pass you by if you sit in your room all day and play video games. But that's what I want to do. That's what you're not grasping. I get that that's your life and that's no, what your dad no, did to no, you, but I'm, you don't have to do no, that I'm to me. No, I'm grasping what you want to do. But what really should you do? You gotta get a job. Let it go. I let it go. We've done pretty well for ourselves here. You know, things have happened over the course of the last few months that, you know, suck. But you had a pretty damn good childhood. It's time you grow the hell up. Yeah, okay, but what... Since you come from a different era and it's something you still are having trouble grasping, what if, what if you could go back and play? What if, what if you could play with me? Like, 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 we, like we just did, like when we played Xbox. And that was something. What if... You go back in time and relive that, and what if you could fucking, what if you do it for a living? That, what if you could do it for a living and get paid for it? If you could make money, loads of money, playing video games, bam, there you go. For a, a brief few minutes playing video games with you was all right, but I can't do that for a living. You can't do that for a living. I gotta, life, life passes us by when you sit there and play. You gotta get out, you gotta work, you gotta make a living, you gotta take care of a family. You know, it's just, you don't, I can't sit there and play video games. And I don't need or want you to do it too and have life pass you by. You know, I'm just fed up with the whole idea that you want to spend your whole life sitting there and I'm front fed of the up TV. too, Dad. What are you fed up with? With with how you handle this shit. How are you gonna tell no, me I, you're fed up? I'm fed up because it doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't. I don't know what else to do for you or to you or whatever. I don't know. Cause it didn't work because you still come back to the same damn thing. I want to play video games. You know, that's I don't know what else to do with you. I really don't. You got any ideas? No. Because you wanted to sit back in front of the TV.
Yeah, because it's something I enjoy doing, and it's and it's it is my job, and and I am grown up, despite you what you say. But how do you expect to make money from that, though? I mean, I am. It, it, it's not the fact of money, and I don't think that's what it is. I don't. I don't think that's what you care about because I've shown you that I could fucking do that. Why? And then it's like, I I'm gonna be out of here, and you'll see. I'm gonna be out of here in a week. Maybe even less than I'm going to see Mark tomorrow, and then look at apartments, and I'm going to be out of this house, and bam, there, I have an apartment. I've heard this before. How are you gonna pay for it? Um, YouTube money. Oh, monopoly, yeah, monopoly money. That's all it is. Monopoly it's, it's money. It's not sustainable. It's not. I don't understand why you keep thinking that this is going to be going on forever for you. I'm be out there in the real world. Oh, yeah, doing big things. Yeah, you will be out there in the big world, you know, doing big things. But my opinion, and that, yeah, the, the, the big thing is, is you'll be back. It always happens that way. Yeah, because you'll, like you'll force me back. Because you'll force me back. No, I will force you back. The life will force you back. Do you understand that? No, I don't. You'll get don't out there, you're not mature enough. You'll go out there, you'll, you'll have one check. A lot of people do this. Oh, I got this big windfall of money. And then all of a sudden, I blow it within a month or two. I blow everything I have, and then I have nothing. Then I'm out on the street. So that's what I'm saying. Life's going to eat your ass up, and you're going to be back. Two, three months. I give you two, three months tops. So then, all right. And then why, why I had, I had a, the trailer. I was living on my own, oh, and, then you, me, and no. then you forced me back. Don't even go so there. So you just made you that true. You made that come to pass. I no, had my own I, thing going, and then you you, you forced had me to come back. You had nothing going. You were stinking, sucking off Uncle Larry's teeth by by using his trailer. You had it parked on somebody else's property that you didn't have permission. You went to their son. So then they tell, he didn't even so own the property. So tell me, what what is what is what are you trying to fucking do? I'm trying to make you a man and understand that in life you gotta get out there, you gotta get a good job, you gotta make a living, and then you you fend for yourself that whole way. You don't sit there and sponge off somebody, you go in their house and take shit, or live in their backwoods when they don't even know it. You can't do that. My job is here to try to make you a man. Make you ready right. like to Jeffrey. go out in the life. Like Jeffrey. Jeffrey's ready. He's good. Yeah, he's good. He's got a full time job. Yeah. You made that very clear yeah. when he left. You, he's got he's got he's, he's now got moved in. He's, he's got everything going for him right now. He's not living in a dream world. Right. Do you understand? I just think the world's gonna eat you up, Jess. Do you think that? Yeah, I do. You got a lot of dreams, but as far as I'm concerned, they're dreams. You're going to be back. Well, I'm still going to leave. I'll believe when I sit. I just think you're going to come back. You know? But just remember one thing. You're not leaving till I feel you're ready to leave. Do you understand that one? It's my job to make you what you are, and if I don't think you're ready, you're not gone. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Fuck you, Uncle Larry. Fuck you. I told him. 
I told him that this would, this would happen. That I could do this. That I could change hearts and minds of people. <laughs> Everyone will believe in me. And finally, finally he gave me that right there. He just needs to see that I'm ready and, and, and that, that was all right. You, dude, you, I know that was progress. That's so many steps in the right direction to have that moment. Fucking hilarious, I know shit. I felt close, I felt like I got him for a second. He used to play games, I know that, and it's just, it's still in him. It's still in him and he's pushing it back. It's like that fucking, that denial shit. That's what it is. Pretending like you don't care. That's what this world does to you. That's what it does. Do I keep believing myself and following this? I don't even fucking need the PlayStation right now. I don't even need it. I'm just happy in this moment. Fucking Clary. People don't change. He's wrong. People do. You just gotta hang on and keep trying. Keep trying. Don't stop. And I think that's what I, I want you guys to know. Just don't stop. You probably didn't believe either, dude. You probably thought it's a lost cause, right? Beyond repair. Mm -hmm. I'll make a believer out of everyone, man. Wow. All right, Jace. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Holy shit, man. My whole life has led to this moment. <laughs> About to go out and into the car and hug them. <laughs> Fuck her. I don't even need her right now. And tomorrow's apartment time, baby. Going to Mark's. All right, Jay's, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget. Oh, no. I love you, Jay's, to death. Here's a billion views. That's crazy. Don't forget to keep it rigid. Wow. Base is loaded, too.